field. Yeah. She told her sons, bring me another pot. Yeah. He replied, there isn't even one pot left. Uh-huh. Then. Then. The oil stopped. The oil stopped. <laughs> it didn't stop before then. Exactly. And, and I'm going to tell you something else I found while I was studying this. This particular chapter, this was something that I learned new and mm-hmm. I got to go back and research yeah. it even more. Yeah. But I, but I realized that there were four miracles mm-hmm. in this particular chapter mm-hmm. of second Kings four and one. This was one with the widow and the uh, oil, but then there's other with the Shunammite woman mm-hmm. and, and the loss of her son. And then there was the food that was poisoned and he knew what to throw in the mm-hmm. pot, not to kill everybody. Mm-hmm. These were all of these miracles in, that, that happened, you know, through God. Right. But was it from God, miracle from God, but through Elisha? Mm-hmm. Now, see, we got to be willing to, willing? we got to be willing to be the miracle that God desires to use. Mm-hmm. We got to be willing to recognize that he loves us to the point that he'll give us exactly what we need. Somebody would have looked at her and said, I ain't worried about you and your little kids. You right. better, better go and get them boys right. together and go on and right. do what you got to do. Right. But God saw fit. To say, you know what? I know you're in trouble. Yeah. And I, I'm going to come and help you. Yeah. They might look at it as this little widow. Yeah. They might look at it as your little boys. Yeah. But I see you. Yeah. And, and uh, uh, what is it? Oh, uh, Jehovah Roi. Mm-hmm. We talked about it last mm-hmm. week. That, that, that's something, that is something that I believe God is pushing in the spirit realm right now so that we all understand that he sees us. Mm-hmm. He sees us. Mm-hmm. He sees when you're working with what you got. Yeah. He sees when you are being spiteful mm-hmm. about what you have in your hand or upset mm-hmm. that you don't think that you have enough. Yeah. And if you don't think that you have enough, then you really got a problem because you'll never get enough yeah. because you're not working yeah. with what you got. Yeah. Come on now. Yeah. The oil stopped. Yeah. <laughs> then it stopped. Yeah. After yeah. she had worked with everything she had. She Girl, I'm going to throw this shoe at you and me. Yeah, everything that she had. After she worked with everything that she had, then. Then. The oil stopped. Then. Then. (laughs) And she wasn't afraid to be used. No. Come on, deal with that. We we got like, what, two, three minutes? Come on. You you cannot be afraid to be be used. used. That's it. And and, and, and let's, 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 we're going to work as a team. You can't be afraid to be used the way God God wants wants you to use you. Because yeah. when he shows up, sometimes he, the way he wants to use us yeah. is, you know, I've been used and I feel like, I don't right. like that. Right. But the Lord says, oh, come on now. Yeah. I need you to have a better attitude yeah. than this because it's somebody watching how you yeah. respond to this. Yeah. And and they'll never get to a place where they'll work with what they have yeah. if they can't see, see you. you working with what you got. You the pastor. Yeah. You, you the preacher. Yeah. That's what they say. Yeah, that's what they're going to say. And I, I, I don't got past and I don't yeah. trip because, yeah. you know, I'm human. Yeah. And I still may be something to do something like that I've been doing. Yeah. That's, 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 that's the flesh. Talk. That's, real, that's talk. real talk. It's real talk. Yeah. But 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 here's my thing. My husband said this. He preached at, at Greater Israel mm-hmm. this past week. And he said, and I gotta get it right because I gotta give him his kudos on this. He said, God will convict you mm-hmm. to God will convince you while he convicts you mm. to change. Girl, that one was good to me. Mm-hmm. Do you hear me? Mm-hmm. Well, we got end on that. Because at the end of the day, Thank you got to be willing to work with what you got. Yes. And when you're not, and, and it's not our job to beat you up. That's right. You're either doing it or you ain't. Yeah. That ain't going to do with us. But if you've left this broadcast today and you feel like uh, sucking your teeth, mm-hmm. okay, you might not be working with what you got. Mm-hmm. And that's not that's not uh, Reverend R. Trees mm-hmm. and Pastor Sharon trying to whoop up on you. That's, right. that's the spirit of the Lord convincing you yes. that you need to be convicted. Yes to change yes. not condemn you now it's a that's difference right. it's a difference because when you condemn something you tear it down that's right but when you convict it means i'm talking to you in such a way that you can see that you're not working with everything that i've given you right. and so then the oil, I, I i want the oil to stop flowing i want yes. you to get to the end of this thing i want you to be able to say that you did your best yes. <laughs> But you got to change. We yeah. got to change. Amen. Yes, Hallelujah. Amen. Anything else you want to add before no, we get up out of here? This is good. It was good. It was a friend of mine says it was scrum delicious. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was scrum delicious. Yeah. I thank God for you guys. I yeah. thank God. I thank God for blessing me to be able to do anything that I can do. Yeah. 
anything that I can do yes. and that I can do it the best that I know how to do it. Mm. You know what I'm grateful for? There are some things that I'm not good at, but I know God going to send somebody yes. to the team that's excellent yes. at it. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Hey, you've been listening to the kingdom table yes. where everybody's got a seat. Yes. At the table. I'm Pastor Sharon Hunter. Yes, I'm Reverend Artrice Hansberry. Guys, we love y'all and good night.